Hey everybody, it is Sunday evening and I just want to do a quick video here on my Garami tank. I've been talking for a while about getting in here and doing a real treatment for the cyanobacteria and all that grunge and stuff that's growing in there rather than just getting in there wiping the glass down and doing the uh, siphon that I normally do. So today's the day. I finally got in there. I used my Ultra Life. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The Chemi Clean. The Ultra Life is what I used to use. The Ultra Life says that it's for the uh, blue green slime stain remover. Whereas the Chemi Clean actually says it's for the red cyanobacteria. Yet I find that the Chemi Clean works better for all round, killing pretty much everything. As I've said before, I'll say again, you must put an air stone in your tank. The bigger and the more vigorous, the better. The process works by oxidizing the cells of all of the unwanted growth in there. All that grunge you can see growing on the back glass, that's all going to be dying real soon. And it does so through the process of oxi uh, oxidation. When it does that, of course, it's using up oxygen that's in the water and you can run into problems really quickly if you don't have a vigorous amount of gas exchange to compensate for the loss of all that oxygen, especially in a tank that's so heavily uh, grown as this one is. And when I'm talking about being heavily grown, I don't mean the plants, I mean all the grunge. If you look back here and you look closely, I know there's glare on everything, but look at the, the intake for the filter look how gross that is and you can see that's red cyanobacteria as well as all that green slime and everything growing in there so that's what we're working on that's the goal to get a lot of that stuff killed off it's never going to be gone I'm never going to sterilize the tank I'm never going to not have to worry about this again there will be no final treatment where everything's gone and I never have to worry about it again it's done um, but from time to time, I've got to get in there and sort of blast it out and sort of start over and reset the clock. And it's been quite a while since I've done that on this tank. I don't honestly even remember the last time I got in here and treated it with an airstone. I know I've done it before, but it's probably been a year or close to it. And that's fine with me. I don't mind having to do a little bit of additional maintenance like this once every year or so. Um, as far as what I've been doing today, I've been working on my waterfall again. I've not given up on that. I'm making progress. I've just decided we're not going to be talking about it or looking at it. Unless, of course, you're over there on my Patreon page. You will see the updates I've been making and that sort of thing. But in the meantime, as far as my uh, YouTube channel, we're not going to get a look at what I'm doing until I'm a little more sure it's going to work. Uh, I want this one to be a big surprise. I did show everybody a little bit of my process before where I kind of got started. We're actually sort of going with that theme. I will say that much. I haven't completely started over from scratch. It is going to be similar to what you've already seen. It's just going to be a little um, scaled down from what you've already seen because that was a little bit ridiculous. So that's about it. That's all I got to update everybody on tonight. Just wanted to give a little look at this 55-gallon uh, Garami tank here. At the beginning of the treatment, it's going to get two days of this. I will then do a water change. There's so much grunge in there that I'm absolutely going to do a second. I might even do a third round after I've done, uh, you know, water change, clean the water out. We'll do at least one more treatment, and then we'll see where we go from there. So make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss any of the updates I got coming up on this tank or anything else. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget this one here is my 55-gallon Garami tank. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.